Working at KHS is one of the best things that I've ever done. When I graduated, I started producing the news and I didn't have the same passion that I do here. When I was working at KWCH, I would always play with May the Weather Dog. That helped me kind of set on a course that I knew that I wanted to work with animals. My name is Jordan Van Yunez. I am the Director of Communications and Marketing here at the Kansas Humane Society and I graduated from WSU in 2021. I originally wanted to be a film major, so I started on communications with an emphasis in electronic media. I learned a lot from Jessica Newman with videography. Uh, I learned a lot from Amy DeVault with uh, uh, photography, and it definitely set me on this course to where I was, you know, I had my reel and I sent that to KWCH, and that job helped me get this job. I owe a lot to the Elliott School. <laughs> I'm in charge of all outgoing information to the public, so whether that be news interviews, emails, anything on social media, that all basically boils down to me um, and my marketing team. A lot of people will tell us that they came in because they saw an animal on social media. One of the many things that you get to have fun with, because a lot of animals, we don't know their names, they come in as strays. We had an animal go viral for uh, the name Pedro Gal. Uh, it was a cat. But because of that, um, we ended up doing a, a, a really big uh, Fox News article. And that led to one of our longest stay dogs, Loki, led to him getting adopted. I, I like having something that helps you remember all the wins that you have. Because working in animal welfare, you have a lot of hard days, but um, remembering those wins is always really important. Working here, there's never a dull day. Um, there's never been a day where I haven't been really excited to go to work. I work with some of the best people I've ever worked with and yeah, we're, we just collectively are all focused on that goal of helping animals find their forever homes. This is genuinely exactly where I'm supposed to be and I'm really grateful that the Elliott School kind of set me on a course for that.